Welcome to FactSpark. In this video, we'll take a look at one interesting fact for every one of the 54 officially recognized African nations. We will start with the smallest and least populated country and then slowly work our way up along the population ranking. The tropical island paradise of the seashells easily makes it on the first spot on this list by only counting some 100,000 people as their inhabitants. The archipelago of 115 islands, which sits far off the eastern coast of Africa, is home to a variety of different turtle and tortoise species, one of them being the Aldabrachelis gigantea, also called the Aldabra giant tortoise, which is the largest tortoise species in the world. Next up is another island nation laying on the opposite side of the African continent. The former Portuguese colony of Sao Tome and Principe is one out of only three African nations which ranks as a full democracy since 1991, also making it the oldest government of this kind on the African continent. The third least populated nation in Africa, Cape Verde, is home to only a single indigenous mammal, which is the long-eared bat. All other mammals, like goats, monkeys, rats or mongooses, have been imported by humans. The Comoros is another island nation in the Indian Ocean. The Sunni Islamic country has an extremely high population density, housing over 450 people on every square kilometer of its land. This makes the Comoros as densely populated as the densest US state, New Jersey. The next country on the list is Djibouti, which chose elks, the largest member of the deer family, as their national animal, even though elks cannot be found in the natural wildlife of the country. Iswatini, formerly called Swaziland, is the last remaining absolute monarchy in Africa, which gives the monarch supreme authority over laws and legislature. Equatorial Guinea, a small country on the west coast of the continent, is currently constructing a brand new capital city right in the center of the territory. Currently, the capital lays on the island of Bioko, around 200 kilometers off the coast of Equatorial Guinea. This peculiar setup also makes Equatorial Guinea the only non-island nation in the world with a capital city on an island. Mauritius, the second largest island nation of Africa, is home to the only Hindu majority in Africa. Guinea-Bissau's official top-level domain, meaning the end of the national websites, is .gw and it only has 23 officially registered websites. 85% of Gaboon's landmass is covered by forest, making it the country with the highest percentage of forested area in continental Africa. On a global perspective, it is only passed by some small island nations like Palau, Micronesia and Tuvalu, and the South American country of Suriname. Apart from the first 100-something kilometers, the country border of the Gambia is dictated by the river Gambia, giving it a very unique shape. The landlocked country of Lesotho is completely surrounded by South Africa and the entirety of the country lays high up on a mountain massive, making it the country with the highest low point in the world. The lowest point of Lesotho measures 1,400 meters above the sea level, making it higher than the highest point of countries such as the UK, Finland or Hungary. Botswana was the first country to have developed out of the list of the least developed countries from the United Nations, achieving this upgrade in the year 1994. It has only been followed by five countries after that. Next up on the list is Namibia, a country of true geographic extremes. It is so sparsely populated that the only countries on earth with more space per inhabitant are Greenland and Mongolia. This is due to the country being made up of thousands of square kilometers of barren desert, the largest canyon of the continent, 40% of conserved wildlife space, and 700 kilometers of uninhabitable coastline, also called the Skeleton Coast. Liberia has its origins as a refuge for freed American slaves from before the American Civil War. Around 10,000 former American slaves made their way to the African West Coast in the 1850s and declared independence in 1847. This makes it the first African Republic and Liberia managed to stay independent during the colonization of Africa from European powers. The capital of the Republic of Congo, Brazzaville, ranks as one of the five worst cities when it comes to property prices to income ratio. Mauritania is holder of the sad record of being the last country in the world to ban slavery. This only happened in 1981 and it took until 2007 to officially make it a crime. 
While the Central African Republic doesn't really have much going for it, it at least has the fifth lowest CO2 emissions per capita in the world. The North African state, Libya, is cursed with such bad soil and climate conditions that 75% of the food of the nation has to be imported. Less than 1% of the territory is actually arable land, of which most can be found near the northeastern coast. This region used to be part of the ancient Greek and Roman empires. Togo used to be populated by 37 different tribes, after the country borders as we know them today were made up by the French, following the transfer of Togoland from the Germans after World War I. Due to Sierra Leone's low literacy rate, many of its people use radios instead to consume information. It is estimated that 72% of the country listens to the radio on a daily basis. According to Eritrea's constitution, all languages are equal in the country, which subsequently means that there is no official language. After a challenging start of the nation South Sudan, which turned independent just 10 years ago, its economy finally picked up in recent years and in 2019, South Sudan actually booked the highest GDP growth in the world with 11.3%. In Burundi, it is tradition to consume beer from large containers with straws, with up to 12 people at the same time. Benin's capital, Porto Novo, was historically established to accommodate slave trade with the Americas. Today, however, the city of Cotonou is the largest city of the country and that houses most of the governmental functions. Rwanda is the African nation with the highest percentage of arable land and it takes the seventh spot on a global scale. Overall, 57% of the entire country's surface is cultivated. Guinea, not to be confused with Guinea-Bissau, Equatorial Guinea, French Guinea, Guiana or Papua New Guinea, is the most populous country of all countries containing Guinea in their name. Tunisia is home to very rich ancient history, and the famous general Hannibal Barca, who conquered Rome, came from the Tunisian city of Carthage. Today, the ancient history can be explored in the form of eight UNESCO World Heritage Sites across the country. The country of Chad is home to a massive lake of the same name. In the 1960s, this lake measured a surface area of 26,000 square kilometers, putting it on the same league with the East African Great Lakes of Lake Malawi, Lake Victoria and Lake Tanganyika. Today, however, the lake shrank down to less than a 20th of the previous size and it barely covers 1,500 square kilometers. Zimbabwe's currency had the two-year period of hyperinflation between the years 2007 and 2009, where at peak moments, the year-to-year -year inflation rate was passing 89 sextillion percent. After a hard stop on using the Zimbabwean dollar in April of 2009, it was reintroduced in July 2019 and already has an inflation rate of over 700%. In the year 2022, Senegal will be the first country of the African continent to host the Olympic Games. While it won't be the full version, the Youth Olympic Summer Games will still be a great opportunity to let the world get to know Africa a little bit better. Mali is home to the Great Mosque of Djen, which is the largest mud-based construction in the world, reaching heights of 16 meters. The material it is built from is called adobe. Even though Zambia is a landlocked country, it is still home to one of the most magnificent water spectacles in the world. The Victoria Falls on the Zambezi River is neither the widest, highest or most volumetric waterfall. The high ranking in all of these categories, however, often gives it the nickname of being the largest waterfall in the world. While prehistoric rock art can be found in a variety of places across Africa, Malawi is the country with the highest density of rock cavings from our ancestors. The Changoni rock art area consists of 127 isolated sites with carvings dating back to the late Stone Age. In Niger you can find the Air and Tener National Nature Reservoir, which consists of multiple smaller overlapping reservoirs, which makes it the largest connected area of nature reservoirs in Africa. Burkina Faso is officially the hottest country in the world with a yearly average of 28.25 degrees Celsius. If you've come this far in the video and you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing, it helps a lot. Cameroon also holds an Africa-wide climate record, specifically Cape de Buncha, which is the sixth wettest place in the world and the place in Africa with the most precipitation. Annual rainfall averages over 10,000 millimeters. Due to Madagascar's remote location and subsequent little intermixing of species, 
it is home to the second most endemic species in the world just after Brazil. When it comes to the amount of endemic species in percentage to the total amount of species, however, Madagascar is the clear world leader. The only region that surpassed the 87% of Madagascar is the Kerguin Island and the Cocos Island, which only house a single species respectively, giving them an unfair 100% score. In Côte d'Ivoire's Thai National Park, you can find the last remaining virgin rainforest of Western Africa. Somalia is one of the very few countries within Africa with a very low prevalence of HIV positive adults. Together with Madagascar, Algeria and Sudan, it is leading the ranking with less than 0.5% of the population infected with the virus. While most African nations biggest export are agriculture products, 88% of Angola's export is crude oil. On a global scale, it is the 14th largest exporter of oil. Ghana is the closest country to the center point of the standard world map, meaning the point where longitude and latitude are 0 degrees. While almost all countries in Africa share the fate of having suffered through colonization, Mozambique was one of the first territories taken over in the 15th century and therefore was under European rule for a total of 473 years. Together with Equatorial Guinea and Guinea-Bissau, this is the longest time of all African nations. Contrary to many Muslim countries, Morocco has rather modern women's rights which are anchored in the constitution. While many traditional and conservative values still prevail, it is a good step to a more equal future. While Egypt stands out with the largest ancient pyramids, Sudan has the most ancient pyramids built around the Nile. Many of these were built around 800 years after the pyramids of Giza finished construction. Algeria is the African country with the least external national debt as a percentage of their GDP, and only Turkmenistan, Brunei and Liechtenstein have less external governmental debt. Due to a long colonially intertwined past with the UK, Ugandans are the best English speakers of all African nations, even ranking higher than the South Africans according to the World Linguistic Society. Kenya's largest ethnic group, the Kikuyu, which live in the proximity of Mount Kenya, the second largest mountain of the continent, do not have Kenya's national language as their main language. Many of the Kikuyu people, however, speak Swahili and English as well. Tanzania is home to the largest mountain of Africa, the Mount Kilimanjaro, as well as the largest mass migration of animals. Every single year, around 1.5 million gnus, as well as half a million other animals like zebras and gazelles, cross the plains of Tanzania in search of new grazing grounds. Based on my personal set of criteria, which you can find explained in full detail in the card in the top right corner, South Africa is the most diverse country in the world. The Democratic Republic of Congo is home to the most active volcano of the continent. The 3000 meter tall shield volcano Niamuragira erupts roughly every two years. Egypt is the most obese country in Africa, with 31% of the population having a BMI of over 30. Ethiopia is the most populated African nation to have never qualified for a FIFA World Cup, despite having won the African Cup of Nations before. And finally, the most populated country of the African continent is Nigeria. With over 200 million people, it makes up one-sixth of the entire African population and it is rich not just in people, but also in almost all other aspects. It has Africa's largest economy, measured by GDP. It produces the second most movies in the world. It sits at the delta of the third longest river of Africa, and the over 250 ethnical groups speak over 500 different languages. If you enjoyed these facts and stories about the 54 African nations, I'd be very happy if you subscribed to this channel. If you'd like to know one fact about every country in Europe or South America, you can click here or here. Cheers.